Hello everyone, if you are sending customized letters, invitations or business cards to a large group of people, then creating multiple labels is the best option for you. Moreover, it can be used for creating name tags, product labeling and simplifying process of tracking and managing a business. So, this is Jihad Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create levels in Word from an Excel list. So, the first question occurs, what is a label? A label is used to characterize a person or something. It could be a piece of fabric that is sewed into the collar of a shirt or contains information about size, material or location of a manufacturer. Labels are very much crucial because they are enable for customers to distinguish a product from others particularly when it is positioned next to alternatives that are identical. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have the names of the companies, their address, cities, states and zip codes in column B, C, D, E and F. We want to create labels in Word from this Excel list. For this whole tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In the very first step, we want to prepare mailing list and define name of the table. To do that, at first, we'll go for any of the cell of the data area, then press Ctrl plus A to get the whole area. Now go for the Formulas tab. In the Formulas tab, here you'll find Define Names. Select Define Name drop down and select the Define Name option. You'll see you have got the new name dialog box here. In the name section, you can set any name according to your wish. In this case, I'll write down the name as mailing list. You need to remember that while writing the name, you cannot give any kind of blank space in between two words. If you want, then you can use underscore like you have used in this case. If you press OK, then you'll see that you have got the mailing list name of the data area. Now we want to move to our second phase where we want to create labels in Microsoft Word. To do that, at first open the Microsoft Word, go for the blank document to open the blank document here. Now we'll go for the mailing tab and here in the mailing tab, you'll go for the start mail merge option. If you click on it, then you'll find the labels here. If you click on it, then you'll find the label options here. In the label options, you need to choose the sections you need to use in this case. Like in this case, I want to use the page printers and as tray, we want to use the default tray. You can easily use any of the other section, but now we want to use the default tray option here. After that, we'll move on for our label vendors option. In this section, you can use any of the letters according to your country or region area. As you are trying to get the US letter, so write down the US letter option. After that, we'll move on for our product number. In this case, as product number, we want to go for the shipping option. So we'll find out the shipping labels, which is in this case, the shipping labels. Now we have found the shipping labels here. If we find it, then we can also show the details by using the details option. In the details option, you'll see that you've got the perfect definition of everything in this case. If you want to change, then you can change in this case. Click OK and again click OK to get the job done. After that, you want to move and get the design option. So go for the design and here you'll find the page borders. If you click on it, then you'll find the borders and shading option. As we're trying to get the borders correctly, so click on it and click on the grid section. That you have got the perfectly labeled things as it is showing the preview in this section and click OK to get the perfectly grid section in this case. Now we want to do our import Excel list to Word in this case. And to do that, we want to go for our third step. At first, we need to go for the mailing again. In this mailing tab, you need to go for the select receptant option. 
here you will find use an existing list click on it and now you need to choose the source data as we are trying to get the data so select our use data here in this case we will go for our source data as mailing list of the excel sheet we have used in the previous first step if you click open and open section then you'll get your two jobs as we are trying to get the mailing list as we have named in our very first step then we'll click ok and get the perfect result in this case but now we want to show the records also and to show the records, we need to go for our fourth step, which is inserting fields to labels. And to do that, we need to again go for the mailing section. And here, we'll find the address block. In this address block section, we we'll need to go for insert address block. In this section, we'll go for the match field section. In the match field section, we'll select any of the section, first name, last name suffix prefix and everything is correctly selected or not here you need to go for that city is correctly city state state postal code zip code and country region we want to find this kind of maths if everything matched is selected correctly then go for ok section if you click ok and in the next section you'll see that you have got the preview here that it will show on the word file if you click ok then it will show the list as address block. You have seen that. And now if you want to go for every list, then just select the update labels in the right and insert fields option. If you click on the update list, then you'll see that in every section, now address block has been added. After that, you'll go for your next section, which is finish merging to create labels in Word from Excel list. And to do that, at first you'll again go for the mailing tab and in this section you'll go for the finish group and in this finish group you'll find finish and merge where in the drop down section you'll find edit individual documents. If you click on it then you'll find merge to new document. You'll select all and press ok and at last you'll find your perfect result here for printing. If you want to check it correctly, then click on it and go for the mouse drop down and see everything has been gone for correctly or not. After that, you need to also save it as document of PDF. So you'll go for the file section and here you'll find the save as option. Now you'll go for this PC and now as file name, I'll select the mailing list. So write down the mailing list as the file name and then I want to choose the PDF option. So I'll go for the drop down and select the PDF. After that, I also want to go for the desktop as I'm trying to get the PDF here. Save. Now, if you open the PDF file, then it will look like this. And now you can easily check the file according to your wish by using the mouse drop down. So that's how we can easily create labels in Word from Excel list. So that's it for today. You can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.